everyone! How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you my after shower routine and so I don't want to talk too much about it so let's just go ahead and hop right into the video. Alright, let's get them hairs taken care of. So I wrap my hair up in this sort of big loopy thing but I only put it up there for when I am getting dressed because I wanted to soak up some of the hair but if you leave it up there for too long it adds a, too much volume to my hair and my hair has a lot of natural volume so you just sort of you know can judge for yourself if you need more volume then you can leave it up there for longer if you need less don't worry about it but now I'm just gonna brush out my hair figure out where I want my part to be etc etc this is just to get my hair nice and flat and detangled to start off the process so once I am finished brushing out my hair, I'm going to use some heat protectant. This is the Suave Heat Protection Spray. And I like to put this in my hair because I like when it dries into my hair. I feel like it's really like priming and protecting my hair from the start. And I'll even use it again before I straighten my hair, which is how I style my hair on a normal basis. But um, I still like to do this. I just think it really like primes and protects it. So once I'm finished with that, I go ahead in with my brush and just brush that through to make sure there's a nice even coverage all over my head. Now I'm going to go in with my Kirastase Elixir and I really like this one but if you're looking for a nice drugstore dupe you can try the Paul Mitchell Smoothing Gel or serum or whatever um, and I basically do one pump into my hand and then I run it mostly through the bottom of my hair and this is going to help condition the bottom of my hair extra well and um, not only prevent split ends but it also sort of helps to heal split ends which I really like so I just run that through the bottom of my hair and you can use either serum the same exact way and then anything extra that I have in my hair I will just run through all of my hair because it really does make your hair smell amazing and here I realized that my part was no good, so I'm just going to use this little, I believe it's called a rat's tail comb, but I might be wrong, but basically I'm just using that end to loosen up my hair because when my hair is wet, it's like impossible to do anything with it. So I basically use that to loosen it and then I'm just using my hand and then a brush to actually get it where I need it to be. So as you can see, that fixed my part perfectly. <laughs> Now let's get them nails. So I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm in the shower, my nails get so cracked because, you know, I'm sort of busy washing my hair and stuff. So I'm just, you know, gonna scrub that off. And I don't worry about getting it perfect because later on I am going to like buff my nails and shine them and everything. And done. So now let's take care of our beautiful face. So right after the shower, I like to go in with this topical solution. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the whole thing, but I got it from my dermatologist. Like when you open it, it looks like one of those press and paint sort of things, but it's basically a roller and you just roll it onto any places on my skin that I'm having acne. This is me pretending to be happy about it. <laughs> and there we have it. And now I go in with this moisturizer. I like this one, even though it is just CVS brand, I like it because it's fragrance free. And I don't really like to put things with fragrance on my face normally so I'm applying that on my nose sort of my t-zone area just get real up close to the uh, mirror and see where you're having a little bit of dry patches and that is where I apply it and so I'm just you know rubbing that in I also like to put it in between my eyebrows and then right in the crevice of my chin for some reason I always get really dry skin there and now those lips are going to need some moisturizing too, so I'm just going in with my EOS. I'm not sure which flavor this is, but it's the orange one. As you can see, it's running pretty low, but I'm just going to moisturize my lips and we are done. Just another idea, sometimes when I have more time, like say I don't have that much time, I have to go get ready to leave the house now, but when I have more time, I a lot of the time do my do-it-yourself spa day after I shower. If you haven't seen that video, I will annotate it on the screen and it'll be posted in the down bar, so definitely check that out if you have more time. It's great to do those things right after you shower. So thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up this video if you liked it and would like to see more videos like this one, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Be kind to one another. Bye guys!